From the studios at WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. Flags are at half-staff across Kentucky to honor the victims of mass shootings in Texas and Ohio over the weekend. Governor Matt Bevin's office is asking that flags remain at half-staff through August 8th. Meanwhile, activists are planning a rally for an end to gun violence in Fayette County. That's coming up Saturday. Officials have released the identity of the man killed in a crash on Interstate 75 in Rockcastle County Sunday. The victim is identified as 49-year-old Eric Calhoun of Middletown, Ohio. He was a passenger in a car which was hit from behind and then in turn plowed into a pickup truck. An investigation continues. State police also continue to probe a weekend crash in Powell County that killed two people. Police say a motorcycle driven by Gary Evans of Mount Vernon collided with a pickup truck Saturday, killing Evans and a passenger on his bike, Bonnie Kaler, also of Mount Vernon. The driver of the pickup was injured. The EKU Center for the Arts has announced that 1970s rock icon Alice Cooper will be coming to that facility in November. Tickets will go on sale Friday. Madison County Judge Executive Reagan Taylor says that $176,000 in state funds awarded to the county will be used for resurfacing. Ford Road, Peggy Flats Road, Courage Road, and Marberly Road have been selected for repairs. Kentucky's longest-serving mayor has died. 99-year-old Charles Long had been mayor of Boonville in Owsley County since 1959. Hot weather is on tap again today, but a cold front is expected to enter the region tonight, bringing showers and thunderstorms and somewhat cooler temperatures. More hot weather is expected this weekend. And if you're interested in becoming a state trooper, the KSB is taking applications for the agency's next cadet class. You can apply online at the KSB website for the classes in Frankfurt, which begin in May and last 25 weeks. For news all day, go to WBONTV.com. I'm Bill Clary.